Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well during this whole virus scare that's going on. I'm gonna do an energy reading today. I may be picking some cards. I have a couple of decks up here on my desk. Um, I'm just gonna tune into the energy and, and see what is in store for us possibly. Maybe tips on how to handle what's going on. Uh, maybe some insight as to you know what's good about all of it. The purpose that may be serving and how maybe to find gratitude and live through that space of gratitude while we're going through something as big as this. So that's what we'll talk about today. If you're new to my channel, I'm Linda Armstrong. I'm an energy healer, a spiritual awakening coach, and I like to talk about all things to do with awakening to the truth of your being and really designing your life, creating your life that you love. And that's my website, lovemylife.coach. So it's a little crazy these days, right? Um, I'm actually kind of enjoying the time to be at home. I've had to rework my, my other business, which is a karate school. And now we're teaching classes over YouTube um, so thank you, YouTube. That's something to be grateful right there for our ability now to be able to function through video, whether through Zoom or some other online service, Skype, I don't know, um, and through YouTube. And, and even look at the schools, right? A lot of schools are closed, but yet teachers are able to give classes through, I think, Google Hangouts or whatever that is for the kids. I don't have a young child now, so I'm not really tuned into that. Um, but the point is, everything's changing. And what if this whole drastic shift to having to like self-quarantine yourself or social distancing, what if it's bringing about a whole lot of new possibilities of how we function in our day-to-day -day lives, right? Maybe it's all about really, because you kind of, especially when, when fear comes in, the only way to really deal with that is to go within and feel your truth find what you know and experience yourself more as the full energy that you are and not maybe this reaction energy towards the fear that is being um, driven to you out there right so so for me i'm personally grateful that we're finding other ways to get our karate classes out to our students that's available now that wasn't available you know actually not all that long ago it wasn't that easy to just do that and maybe a lot of people wouldn't even have been open to doing that but fortunately for us our students are enjoying it you know they're they're doing classes through youtube so that's, that's something to be grateful for i think that we'll be learning and you know a lot of the energy updates I've done this whole past, last all of like 2019, even into 2018, were really to do about finding your truth, like what you really want to do, what your passion is. A lot of people were shifting out of one way of being, like be it a job or um, a relationship or a place where they live. Like a lot of changes, you were being driven because there's this big awakening going on. You've been, you're being guided, even if you're not aware that this is guidance that's coming in, that is creating the desires for you to move into another direction. So now here comes this virus and it kind of like really forces you, especially those who maybe weren't even catching this energy wave or this shift that was going on. It kind of maybe forces a lot of people and the masses to take stock of their lives, what's important to them, how they live it. You know, maybe some people are like, hey, you know, I kind of enjoy slowing down. Thank you, universe, <laughs> for showing me that I don't have to be constantly pushing, pushing, pushing hard to get things done and to make things happen. Because I think for a lot of people, not for everyone, because there's a lot of people that are really going to be struggling through this whole thing. But it's creating this way of tuning into that creativity that you have of how to deliver what it is, your message you want to send out to the world, the things that you want to share with people, how to deliver that in a different way. So maybe that's what this is all about. I don't know, but I know I have been feeling like, and actually 
for me, the energy that's been coming up a lot, and this is very interesting, and maybe maybe some of you are feeling this too, because I always did like push myself to get things done. Okay, now I'm not going anywhere. My karate school is shut down. Um, I can still give coaching sessions online. I can't do any in-person sessions. Um, so I should really actually have more time to myself, right? Still, I'm putting this pressure on myself to get things done, like to get the videos up for the classes or whatever it might be. And many times even, there's nothing really I have to do. But I'm feeling this energy take over. Like, like it's the energy of almost overwhelm or, or needing to do something to get things done, right? But there's not a lot to get done. So rather than just chilling and going with the flow, which I thought I could do very well when I was busy, <laughs> But it seems that when I'm not as busy, I'm having a hard time doing it. Like sitting still. Now, I've never followed a schedule like that kind of thing. Although I know some people are having trouble with that because you know, they really keep themselves to a tight schedule. So it's kind of hard not to have it, right? I don't have any per se list that I work off of. I just go with the flow of what I want to do. And I did not realize how much I was holding an energy of having to keep moving or pushing hard. You know, like... That's probably a collective energy. Maybe I'm feeling it strongly because I'm clearing for a lot of people who are feeling that energy too by being forced not to do things, right? So, okay, that's what I'm hearing. So so probably maybe the message of this video, this video, and we'll see what comes out with the cards if it speaks to it, is that it's hard for us to slow down. We have been so conditioned to have to keep moving forward, to have to keep striving for this and for that in a physical sense of having to get things done, make things happen, as opposed to what I'm teaching all the time to people, following the guidance, acting on the inspiration, being open for the good things to come in. And I've done a lot of videos on this too, to get out of that mind that's telling you it has to be a certain way and to open to the possibilities. Well, so whether it's my own energy, which I'm sure it is because I, yeah, I feel it, it's true for me. Um, but also I think I'm holding it even stronger for other people because I've actually been walking around my house saying, why do I feel like I have to keep doing something? Like, why am I... Why am I feeling this pressure to get things done when I don't have a ton of things to get done? I've got plenty of time to do it in. <laughs> Yet that energy was making me grumpy. And I even, so I caught myself and, and my husband's like, you've been grumpy for days. I'm like, really? Oh my God. Right? So it, it took a while for me to even see my own energy, what was taking place within me. So let's do a clearing for that. So if anybody who is experiencing this um, resistance, to slowing down, who is being driven by this almost like a force outside of you that makes you have to keep pushing hard and, and doesn't allow you to just chill and relax. Everything that that is, can we just uncreate and destroy all of it? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And that's an access consciousness clearing. You can look up what that means and what that entails at theclearingstatement.com. Maybe I'll put a link to it below this video. Um, so yeah, let's just blow that energy off, right? And let's download, right? Let's download this energy from the universe into every single cell of our body of what it feels like to actually truly allow ourselves to be in this calm, peaceful energy to just go with the flow, to allow things to unfold, like to allow the universe to assist us in how things unfold to allow for the magic here's my magic wand just gonna allow you boom magic to appear in your life in fact i've had some of that happening i had um i received an email today like an hour after i mentioned this to my husband about some situation that was going on I'm like you know with what's happening with this virus it might actually assist what's been going on in this area for us Boom, an hour later, I get an email that was something that was going on, solved, solved, done. <laughs> I actually didn't do anything to, to make that happen. It just happened. But it happens because I am opening up to the possibilities. I am asking 
questions of the universe. Like what, how does it get any better than this? What can be done about this situation? What's good about this situation that I haven't been able to see? Just asking questions. So yeah, that was, that was, I would say quite a big miracle. I think there's some more things that are going to unfold from that, that I can't wait to hear about because for this first one to just shift like that, I know that these other things connected to it are just going to fall in line. So that, that's, my own experience without going into detail about what the actual thing was kind of don't want to do that um but that happened today so let's just ask the universe like what would it feel like to really trust that the universe has got my back and that everything will fall into place exactly as it's meant to be what would it feel like to just trust and know that this What's happening with this virus right now is actually going to uplift the masses. Yeah, it's like a great awakening. So although there's some really horrible things happening with this, you know, what if those souls are playing a part in uplifting everyone else, right? What if those souls were like given a mission, even <laughs> spiritual mission, um, to help create this change that's coming about, even though they may be having to experience, you know, sickness and, and even possibly death. And it is the older folks, you know, so maybe they, you know, maybe there's some people, some souls out there like this, and I'll, I'll, I'll take this challenge on, and I'll, I'll be one of those people who experiences and, and transition through this experience, um, if it will help hundreds of thousands, millions of other people. What if that was a possibility and why couldn't it be? Anything's possible. So it's all a matter of how you look at things. So, um, I don't know, let's pick a card because that's just what's coming through to me right now is that really, really opening up and looking for finding things to be grateful for, right? Um, you know, you can be grateful for having some time to like binge watch a particular show, right? And, and, be able to stay up till four in the morning still watching because you're like I could do one more I could do one more <laughs> one more video one more show um because you don't have to wake up any particular time the next day you could sleep in and you could still get whatever it was you planned on getting done during the day so yeah so I actually been doing all that and I am really enjoying it but I still had this energy creep in and I don't feel it all right now of course because when I talk to you guys um, I'm bringing in light and I'm transmitting light. So it just really expands my whole awareness. Like my, my energy is like pff, way bigger than my house, even my property right now. It's just expanding out. I don't even know where it ends. Um, and that what, that's what allows me to, um, you know, bring in whatever messages want to come through and enables me to actually see things to be grateful for. You know, there's a lot of things to be grateful for. So if we hold that energy, what if we were to just hold that energy and send that energy out to everyone? You know, energy goes wherever you ask it to go. Just send this energy of love, energy of healing. What if every day on every hour you made a point to transmit energy? Yeah, so I've been doing that. And in fact, I'm going to do another video and I guess I'll put a link in here or a card somewhere. Um, I haven't created it yet, but I'm going to do this video because I've had this thing come to me, something I do with a lot of my clients where I kind of plant this seed of light into their heart or whatever it is that's going on for them. But I like to go into the heart. Uh, I might just do a meditation for that so that people can go through that experience of bringing that in because the message I got today it, you know, is I'm taking a shower because a lot of, you know, good stuff comes in through the shower, right? With that energy flow is through water easily. So I find that I get a lot of great inspiration in at that time. And I'm sure you do too. Um, I was getting the message from my guides to do that, to create a video about this process that I do with implanting the seed of light so that I can transmit every day, at least every morning, every night, um, light to that seed, right? So it's a seed, you know, a, a seed for a plant. We, we, you know, we, we plant it and then we water it and then it starts to grow. 
So this is all about showering you with light. And uh, it's fun. I've been doing that. And I find that if I, if, when I am getting a bit overwhelmed, I just kind of, you know, I'll just tap into this seed and I'll just, you know, pull in this energy, this light and this love. So, and if that sounds strange to you, uh, you know, hopefully I just opened your awareness a little bit to the possibility that it can be real, that you can do it and that you can feel it. And, you know, you'll know it's real for you if you feel it, if you sense the energy. So usually when I, uh, I've never had an experience where someone didn't feel it, but people will feel this energy come in. They'll feel this light. They'll feel themselves expand, just expand. Um, anyway, let's see, what do we get here? Oh, look, door to personal happiness and healing. I think that's what it said. 34, door to personal happiness and healing. Well, that sounds pretty yummy to me. Um, well, let's read that. I'm going to read it from the book. You know, I like to read from the book and have you interpret it, how it, it registers to you. Like you always know what your truth is by what you feel. If it feels light and it feels right to you, then it's true. And really, we can, a lot of people can take the same words and have an aspect of their life pop in based on these words. So that's why I like to read it. I'm going to do that. Um, I'll probably interpret things along the way. But just know that's my interpretation or it's the energy that I'm receiving around it. But it's always your feeling your word that matters to you, right? I'm just a guide. I'm just saying what I receive. You may receive something totally different and that's okay. You always have to trust that you know better than anyone else. Okay. So door to personal healing and happiness, new beginnings in your personal life. So it says this card is a harbinger of positive change. The beautiful light filled door opens into a lush rainbow lit spring filled with vibrant lotus flowers so let's see if we can get a good picture of that you see that lights in the way a little bit there you go hopefully you see that um okay so it says uh whether you're working on some inner healing such as breaking an addiction or looking to make some external changes such as finding a new place to live this card signals that your life is opening up to new opportunities that are about to appear. The changes you've been working on are ready to blossom with wonderful results. So make sure you to make sure you see your personal intentions through with continued action and optimistic expectations. So yeah, I think that's what I was talking about in the very beginning, right? This is a time for change. Like this card is saying, yeah, this is the door to personal healing and happiness. Changes are happening. You're being you're feeling you may be making huge changes. And look, this whole virus thing is like, boom, hitting us over the head, possibly creating quite a lot of change for people in the right direction, in a positive direction. For those people who will look to the possibilities, they will open up. This is why I really, you know, it really hurts my heart to see so much fear being put out there because, you know, it's not true. Fear is not true light is true light is love so you want to find those parts of this whole big story where you can see what good might come from it because that will help you to shift your energy into the possibilities let's see uh trust your vibes i'm gonna go with that deck trust your vibes see what it says um so if you had something else come to you around the card that i just read um please put it down in, in the comments below because, you know, maybe if something didn't really register for someone, although I can't imagine that card wouldn't register with people because it's pretty, it's pretty easy to feel, I think. Um, you know, maybe your comment will help them to see what it means, what it may mean for themselves. Okay, so I'm going to pick this card right here. Clear the path. <laughs> oh, wow. Clear the path. Yeah, so again, is this virus clearing the path for new ways of being? Um, will we find out that 
its presence actually cleared some other something out there because like, everything's energy right so maybe the the presence of this energy which um you know doesn't appear to be as harmful as it could have been right um you know maybe maybe what it's doing is actually clearing things out now we could judge the way it's happening all we want but what if What if it is just really adding to the awakening to having people look at, there's got to be more than what I thought life was all about. There's got to be more to this. You know, we can't be the only planet in the universe, the only life out there. What if this virus is the beginning of introducing really whole new possibilities? So I got a lot of ideas on that. Um, some of you might want to look at some of the work David Wilcox is doing because it'll really help to clarify some of that. Okay, here's a... A YouTube channel, lots of good info in there. Okay, so number 20, let's take a look at what this book says about it. This is Sonia Choquette's book. And let's see. So it says, uh, you can't hear your spirit guides or feel any connection to your higher self until you dig yourself out from under the dead energy that comes from holding on to what no longer serves you. Wow. That totally speaks to the message that was coming through from the very beginning, right? To everything I even just said. Okay, let's see what the rest of it says. Everything has a vibration that either uplifts and aids your soul's growth or bogs you down and interferes. Let go of everything that doesn't lend doesn't lend a positive uplifting vibration regardless of the of its material value. So what if we just really truly keep looking at for ourselves? What good is coming from this downtime? What good is coming from this virus? What good is coming from the whole world focusing on, um, hopefully focus on people healing and recovering and this being a quick and easy done and over with experience that has a huge effect of really enlightening people and inspiring them to follow their heart. What if that's what it comes out of it? So it says, um, never mind the rationale that you must keep it just in case you'll need it someday. So that's like some of the things that you want. That's, and that even talks to, there's a lot of stuff coming through this past year about clearing, clearing your space, like your physical space, because everything holds energy. So what if these aspects that are really making, changing, or that these changes that want to come in that you've been resisting for a while, what if this is really just a big clearing out that allows you to see how, you know what, you can actually shift to what it is you want, that what it is you desire in your life, the changes that you would like to live. Um, yeah, what if this really truly is the beginning of some amazing, amazing things? So it says, uh, clear it all out. Your purse, your wallet, your car, your closet, your garage, your personal phone book, your desk. Yeah, yeah, really. Everything holds energy. So if you have a lot of clutter and a lot of things you no longer focus, focus on or use or you know like oh maybe I'll use that next year or maybe I'll fit into those clothes again and you know just clean the slate right here right now that's what we have we have right here right now and we create from that so anything that really doesn't serve you anymore that you haven't even given any attention to let it go just let it go um it's a brand new day for a brand new higher vibration so as Sonia Choquette says, as her teacher, Charlie, once told her, you cannot reach for the new until you let go of what is in the hand. All right. That's another message of um, good things coming in. Letting go of what's been holding us back. Uh, maybe, oh, this is a good one. Wow, thank you for that. Possibly we're learning how to let go of fear. So what if that's what this is all about? Letting go of fear. What possibilities would that open up? Mm. Yeah. I actually think I'm going to leave it at those two cards because those messages just kind of sum it all up with everything I was talking about in the beginning. Um, yeah. See what that is for you. So you know what? Let's just, um, let's just all take a nice, let's do this together, right? So let's just take in a nice deep breath. 
letting it out. And I'm going to connect right now to all those people who might happen ab uh, upon this video and just calling in that energy, like just pulling energy from all those people who could use to hear this message. We just want to pull that energy in and collectively with all of that energy, let's just send this energy of love and healing out to the entire planet. No matter what anyone may be going through, whether it's virus related or not, we just want to send this energy of love, this healing energy, this light, just as if we're like doing a blast of light and energy out to everyone so they can feel themselves expand their awareness. Really right now, I mean, my energy is as, as if it could get any bigger than it was. It feels massive from where I started before. So um, yeah, just allow that to